Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to replace a serpentine slash drive belt on a 2001 Toyota Corolla. So let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to need a replacement serpentine belt, um, you're going to need a basically a braking bar and a 19 millimeter uh, socket on here. Um, so your serpentine belt or drive belt is on the side of the engine here on the passenger side. Um, so I'm going to kind of show you the configuration of it. You can see mine obviously needs to be replaced. If yours looks anything like this, you need to replace it immediately. I didn't notice it until today. Um, you can see how much belt I'm missing there. So obviously needs to be replaced. So here is a much better illustration from the manual on exactly how the belt goes back on. It's not quite drawn to spec because the tensioner pulley and the water pump are quite a bit closer than that. But uh, this is the proper setup if you have air conditioning on how to put your serpentine belt back on. Now, you can see right here, it's not even really a nut or anything, but it is a 19 millimeter right here. And that is what you're going to use to loosen your serpentine belt. So, you go ahead and take your breaker bar with your 19, um, work it in around down here. It. Sorry, it's hard to do one-handed. And so uh, you're going to basically put it on tightening mode If uh, since I'm using a torque wrench here instead of an actual breaker bar. Anyways, you're going to pull it towards the front of the vehicle. Um, and you can kind of see, see the belt loosen. So it gives you enough room and you can just slide it off here off the water pump in the center there. So go ahead and do that to remove your serpentine belt. So you can see how ratty this is. Obviously needs to be replaced. If this snaps, um, your engine isn't going to start. So uh, this needs to be replaced if it ever even looks anything close to this. Um, so anyways, installation is going to be the same. You're just going to put your new serpentine belt on. Uh, try and wrap everything. It's easiest if you leave instead of hooking around here to the water pump. Um, since this is smooth and doesn't have the grooves for it to fit into, um, it's easiest if you hook everything on first and then tighten this over. And then you'll be able to slide it onto your water pump here. So anyway, it's very simple, very easy to replace the serpentine slash drive belt on your Toyota Corolla. So hopefully this was helpful, and thanks for watching.